everyone. A couple of weeks ago I posted some pictures on my blog of some paper dolls that I made using the new uh, Stampin' Up! dies, the new Build-A-Bear dies from Stampin' Up! And uh, I had a lot of you write to me and ask me how I made them and what materials did I use. So I thought I'd put together a video tutorial with a few tips um, and share with you how I made mine. So to begin with, you're going to need um, some kind of magnet or magnetic sheet. And what I found worked really well for me was this um, adhesive magnetic sheet that I found at my local craft store. I believe it's made by Pro Mag, and I guess it's called Adhesive Mag. And what it is, is just, it comes in a roll like this, and it's just a magnetic sheet, and it has like an adhesive backing on it. You peel away this covering, it's, you know, it's sticky on one side, and it cuts really easily. So, um, you know, there's no worries about using it on your die cutting machine. It's going to cut through it like butter. It's so easy to use. So, uh, you'll find that probably at a local craft store. You might be able to find it online. And what I did to begin with is I cut a piece from that sheet small enough to um, fit my die and a piece of cardstock. And this is to cut out my bear, so I use this creamy caramel is the color of cardstock I'm using. And the first time I did this, I cut my magnetic sheet and my cardstock separately and then tried to mount them together, and it was kind of a nightmare. So to get the best results and make it a whole lot easier for yourself, um, I would suggest uh, cutting your, mounting the two pieces together, your magnetic sheet and your cardstock. Of course, now this isn't cooperating cooperating with me on the camera. I was under a time constraint. Okay, so you're going to mount these two pieces together. And you're going to um, run them through your die machine. So I'm getting like a big shot out here. Okay. Now it's important to note um, the correct way to run it through your die cutting machine. If you want the bear facing with the, his or her hand to the right, you want to run it with your magnetic sheet facing up. If you want your bear to have the hand extended to up to the left, then you want to run it with your cardstock facing up. That'll all become clear in a minute when I run this through. You'll see what I'm talking about. So anyway, you make your sandwich and you run it through here. I'm making the camera move too, I apologize. Okay, so see, the bear is all cut out, so simple, and you've got your magnetic backing on there. And now you'll just um, want to run your die through there and cut the little pieces and glue them on for the face. I've already got one done here so you can see what I'm talking about. You know, just cut these little pieces out and you can just glue them on top. Now I have to confess, those little eye pieces are so tiny for me to work with. I just use a marker and mark the eyes in, you know, whatever works for you, but that's just, I found that it's a whole lot easier than trying to keep track of those tiny little pieces. But as you can see, um, it sticks really well on your DVD tin that you're using, or, you know, if you're using a metal sheet. Um, some people ask me, you know, well, my adhesive, or my magnetic isn't, my magnet's not very strong, but see, you don't want it too strong where a child can't pull it off. You want them to be able to pull it off, but I understand, you know, you don't want to see how it's, I'm shaking it and it's not a problem, it's not going to fall off. So now you got your bear cut out and you need to cut some little clothing out for it. So you're going to get your die with the clothing pieces. And um, let me take a minute to talk about these dies. Um, this is an exclusive set, only available through Stamping Up, and it's a Build-A-Bear workshop. To um, line and you've got uh, your bear and there's all kinds of clothing items that you can cut out with these dies. It's in the mini holiday mini catalog. And you can see here, um, here's the bear die. And on the following pages are all types of dies to cut all kinds of little cute clothes out and holiday costumes for your bears. So cute. And uh, oh yeah, let me point this out too. Um, in here also is some designer series paper, and it's, what's it called? Uh, positively prints, and it's so cute because the prints on these are really small and they work so well for little, little clothing items. Let me see, I have some here, let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, 
Um, hopefully this will show up on camera, but you can see there's like a little plaid and there's uh, stripes and I believe there's an argyle in here. Let me see the argyle. There's even um, this piece. I'm not sure if it will show up on camera, but it almost looks like denim. So it's a really cute uh, designer series paper and it works perfect for these projects. And that's in the holiday mini catalog. Okay, so we're going to cut out her clothes. Okay, um, and the same thing. I just cut a little piece of magnetic strip or magnetic sheet and my designer series paper and I'm just going to lay it on here. Now, it's important if you ran your, uh, when you ran your bare die through, if you ran it through with the magnet side up, you'll want to do the same with your clothing because if you don't, your clothing is not, you know, the shirt and the jackets aren't going to quite fit on the bear. So I ran my bear um, with the magnetic sheet facing up, so I'm going to do the same for the clothing. Just run it through here. I'm going to take a second. And now I've got a little shirt for her. And it fits perfectly. Let me show you one that was cut out. Now see this one I cut out with the paper facing up. And if you would do that, then you can see that the shirt's not going to fit right. So it's real important to make sure that you, if you run your bear through with the magnetic side up, then you want to do the same with the clothes and vice versa. If you run it with the cardstock up, you're going to run it through with your paper up. Hope that makes, I hope that's clear. <laughs> okay, so somewhere here I also had a skirt for her. I don't know where it's disappeared. Um, oh, here it is. Okay, so I already cut a little skirt out for her. And you can see that that holds pretty well. Now, on the ones I made for my niece and nephew, I also made some little backgrounds for them. I think I made like a schoolroom and a park scene. And I just made that out of cardstock. And I didn't put a magnetic uh, backing on it because you really don't need it because the bear will actually hold that background on your tin for you. So it's really not needed. You don't really have to back that with a, with a magnetic sheet on that. So there, it's all done and it sticks pretty well. Um, some people ask me about laminating. I did laminate the one I made for my niece and nephew. I, I laminated the bear because I just wanted it to be more durable, but it's really not needed um, because these are pretty durable. And if the arm gets torn off or something happens like that, you can just run another one through your um, die cutting machine and make a new little doll for them. Um, if you, you, I want to make a point that if you do laminate this and you laminate the clothes, they will not stick together. It's because you've got too many layers between your uh, magnets. So um, I would only, if I was going to laminate, I would only laminate the bear, not the clothes, because they just won't stick if you get too many layers between the magnet and uh, your cardstock. So there you go, um, and word about the tins. I have a limited supply of these available. Uh, we were able to purchase these at the uh, Stamping Up convention, so I have a few for sale. And I will send you two free tins if you order a uh, Build-A-Bear die from me. This one's called the Stamping Up Bear. And you'll find a link to my Stamping Up website on my blog, and you can shop online. So if you order this, I will send you two tins so you can make a couple of sets of Build-A-Bear uh, paper dolls for yourself. And there's so much fun and there's just so many possibilities of uh, little clothing items that you can make and they're just, they're hours of fun. I even have fun with these. So I hope you uh, got the information that you needed. Um, join me again here soon. I'm working on some videos on embossing. So I hope to see you back here soon.